there, my name is Olivia Young and welcome to my Kepler Ruminant Project. So before I begin, I wanted to explain that I did the creative portion of my project on Minecraft, which is a game where you can build anything you want with building blocks. And I figured that this would be more engaging for, especially for a, a visual learner like me. And it would also be a lot more fun to do a virtual tour than to look at a bunch of hand-drawn pictures. So let's begin. So this is my facility. Uh, I did want to note that this is created on a much smaller scale. The real thing would be much, much bigger, but I just didn't want to spend that much time creating something that large. Um, so this is on the smaller scale. And as you can tell, looking from our surroundings, that we are on the planet Kepler. There's lots of rocky mountains, rocky slopes, and snow in some places. So my building is made completely out of glass from top to bottom to allow the plants and cattle to get as much light and sun as they possibly can. And if we go ahead and open the doors and head inside, this is the lobby. Uh, this is where everything begins. If we come over to the left, this is our laboratory. As you can see, there are microscopes and bookshelves. Um, this is where we do our testing for our cows, and here are the cows themselves. And this is the sick pen where we keep our sick cows. As you can tell, these are not Angus cows, but these are the only cows that Minecraft provides. So if we head back out, back to the lobby, and in through this door, this is where we keep all the food that we collect, the vegetables, and in this chest we have leather, and then sugar cane, and then raw beef. There we just saw some potatoes, carrots, and wheat, and some hay, and some more hay, potentially alfalfa, either orchard hay or alfalfa, and then here's the elevator. If we go up the elevator to the first floor on the inner ring, which is where we do our vertical plant farming, this is the mushroom floor. Uh, this is where we grow our mushrooms. And this is also a staff member, hello. These are the people that take care of, help me take care of my plants and run the facility. Then heading to the second floor, excuse me, sir. This is the wheat floor. We have lots of wheat here. And then moving on to the third floor, we have carrots and potatoes. And then going up to the fourth floor, we have sugarcane and corn. Well, I know it doesn't really look like corn over here, but that's the most similar looking plant to corn I could find on Minecraft. All right, up to the fifth floor, we have more wheat. And I also have signs uh, saying what each floor has. All right. And then the sixth floor, we have melons and pumpkins. Another employee. And then the seventh floor, oh, we have beetroot, potentially used to make beet pulp. Oh, and we have a little flood on the facility. I'll get someone on that right now. And then we go to the top floor, and this is where we also do the majority of our uh, plant farming. And so, this is also more wheat, more alfalfa or orchard grass. It's where we have our forge and our grass. I think I'll go with alfalfa. And then here we have corn. All those don't they don't look like corn stalks, but it is corn in this scenario. Then we have our soybean, and then this is our laboratory area. Here's a microscope. This is where we do all our testing, another micro, micro, microscope station, a little seating area, lots of bookshelves. Great place to do our research. I also did want to mention that the top floor is where we also convert all the vegetables and food we collect and turn them into the feed for the cattle. So if we take the elevator and go all the way down to the bottom floor and go back in through the front doors, this uh, I'll take you on a tour 
of our vertical animal farming. So if we go to the first floor, uh, this is where our cattle will uh, start when we bring them in for the winter season. They'll start on the first floor. They have, as you can see, lots of water um, and hay, and then they will be fed uh, throughout the day with the feed that we provide them. And the cows seem to have gotten out of the gate, so we're going to try to lure them up to the second floor, which is what we actually will be doing once we do rotate floors every two weeks so that the pasture from the first floor can regrow and then the cows will have fresh grass to graze on on the second floor. Every two weeks we'll rotate and move them up a floor um, and there should be around 10 to 12 floors on the actual floor plan that's to, uh, to scale. So the cows didn't follow me up so we're gonna spawn a couple more cows just to show you what it's gonna look like. Uh, lots of fresh grass as you can see and then we're gonna go out of this floor and go to the next floor, uh, fresh grass. Just wanted to show you what the rest of the floors look like. So this whole process, we should only have to go through the rotation once through all 12 floors before the warm season hits again. And then the cows will be transferred outside onto the rocky slopes of planet Kepler, where they will have plenty of grass to graze on and uh, we also have feed bunks provided and water bunks so that they will be able to eat something more than just uh, grass to graze on and I'll show you that right now. So that whole fenced off area is the land that they get to roam around freely on. Lots of rocks and of course they are genetically modified to uh, handle the steep slopes of planet Kepler. So as you can see here's a feed bunk over here. It's sheltered just in case it's raining or the weather is not great. We have lots of hay there, <coughs> grain. Coming back around here's a water bunk and then another feed bunk over here and one more water bunk and we do have another feed bunk here right in the middle of this ravine or mountain hole. There's, there won't be a lot of competition for the cows. Everyone will get to eat, won't have to worry about aggressive behaviors out here and fighting over feed. So I believe that concludes the end of my tour. Thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my whole facility will be around maybe 300,000 square feet um, and probably 300 to 400, maybe 500 feet tall. It's going to be really, really big um, to accommodate both plant life and animal life. A few points I did want to mention that I forgot to talk about earlier during the tour regarding water sustainability the water that the cows drink will be recycled and filtered and it'll go right back to the plants so we don't waste any water in our facility and then via the methane emissions from the cows when they uh, have flatulence or when they eructate um, the methane gas will be collected by vents at the very very top of the tower and converted into energy which will then be put back into powering the whole facility that way we don't let these methane gases out into the atmosphere and we will be recycling energy to increase sustainability. So again, thank you for coming with me on my tour and I hope you enjoyed it.